because of liability issues, I've decided to tell you to wear your helmet. But, I mean, I don't always do them with a helmet on, so I don't want to be hypocritical. But, yeah, you might want to wear a helmet. And this is why. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm here to teach you guys how to do backflips. Backflips are pretty much like any other trick. You have to be fully committed other, like to do it well. And um, that's like the good thing about backflips because like you you have to be fully committed. Because if you're not fully committed going into it, then it feels like you're gonna die. So that's one good thing about backflips, you have to be committed, so once you really try it and really commit, it's really easy. Backflips are actually really simple. But the first thing you gotta do is figure out the jump you're doing it on. And I've been hitting this jump for a while and pretty comfortable with it. I'm just gonna do a little X up over it right now. Now that you know how fast you need to go to clear it normally, like doing a normal trick, you just have to amplify how fast you go to clear it doing a backflip. Not too much faster, but fast enough because when you're pulling back, it's like a negative reaction on how far you're going. Like you're leaning back this way, so obviously you're not going to go as far. Like when you're approaching the lip, you want to be leaning back on your bike, like you want your center of gravity over your seat at least. When you're approaching the lip, just kind of get that rotation started already. You're like kind of looping out off the lip, leaning back that much, and then when you're coming off the lip, you need to have your elbows out, and you're like already leaning back with your neck. And once you reach upside down, like your neck's like already looking and finding the landing, but your body's still upside down because you know you're leaning with your head. And you'll see the landing coming up, and like you'll you won't really notice, like see, but you'll feel that you're gonna either over rotate or like under rotate. So if you're over rotating then you like open yourself up, have your arms fully extended, and your legs fully extended, like your chest up like that, and it'll slow down your rotation. And if you're under rotating, you kind of tuck like that with your knees, and your knees will push against your handlebars and spin you the rest of the way around. Just embrace your landing, and hopefully it's a soft one if it's your first try. And you know, you just, you're coming in, you feel like you're going to loop out, you won't you're going to want to sit on that back wheel like that and if you're going to come in front nose first if you haven't already jumped over your handlebars you better better do something because you're, you're pretty much screwed and that's how you do a backflip some tips to doing a backflip is to make sure you're not pulling like I know a couple of guys they like use their arms way too much they like pulling and like you'll get around but it's going to look sloppy and it's going to be way harder to adjust and it's going to be like not as consistent because you're like pulling instead of just like leaning backwards and another problem that I've been facing lately is when you're trying to go as slow as you can like like make the slowest floating looking flip is like you're leaning back and then you get to directly upside down and you just stop and dead sailor and fall. So you just got to make sure that you, um, you lean back a little bit more off the lip and uh, lead with your head just a slightly bit more and you'll come around.